From your hyperlocal weather source, this is your Norcast Weather Update. Brought to you by Bob's Garden Center and EHT. Shop our homegrown mums at all colors and sizes. Pick the perfect pumpkin for carving or decorating. Bob's has over 15 varieties of pumpkins in all shapes and colors to carve. Bob's has it all for fall. Happy Wednesday, everyone. It's another bright and beautiful day out there. We're looking out towards Margate. Just a couple of scattered clouds, but other than that, just a blanket of blue skies. We're going to stay bright and sunny for the rest of this evening. And then overnight tonight, just a couple of scattered clouds. Temperatures are comfortable, but definitely warmer than where we started off the week. We're back up into the low 80s for a big portion of our area. That's right on the money. That's exactly where we're supposed to be for this point in your September. Temperatures in the upper 70s, almost mid 70s for few spots right along the water. Overnight tonight is going to be pretty similar to where we have been for the past few evenings. The one exception being a little bit of some patchy fog towards the early morning hours. We're going to see the humidity bump up just a little bit overnight tonight. That's going to give you a chance for some patchy fog. I don't think it'll have too much of an impact. Everything that does develop will kind of clear out pretty quickly and tomorrow looks bright and sunny once again. Partly cloudy so maybe a few extra clouds kind of drifting by overhead but we are still comfortable and we are still looking dry. No chance for rain. One of the big changes that's going to be on the way is going to be for Friday and early next week. We're going to see our dew points pick up just a little bit more than where they have been for the past few days. That's one of the big factors for why things have felt so cool and comfortable was the lack of humidity. It allows us to actually feel the ambient air temperature as it's meant to be. Uh, but as soon as you bump up that humidity, those dew points get back up into the 60s, it feels a little bit warmer out there. So our Friday with temperatures in the 80s and dew points in the 60s, it'll feel a little on the warmer side. And then we'll see sort of the same scenario set up for next week on Tuesday. One difference being Tuesday, we also see a chance for some rain. We have Hurricane Francine right now. It's going to make landfall later on this evening, maybe even early tomorrow morning, right along that Louisiana coastline. Quickly starts to fall apart after it makes landfall. By about Friday, uh, it's post-tropical, it's just uh, run-of-the-mill kind of low, and we're seeing a lot of rain start to push up closer towards Kentucky and Tennessee. Not far from there, we have another area of potential development. This one is just off the coast of the Carolinas. A little bit of the energy from Francine is going to kind of split off, emerge on the other side of Florida, and that's where we're going to have that potential development, I would say, over the next week or so, about a 30% chance. The tropics are really starting to kind of fire up. We've been keeping our eyes on an area of potential development just off the coast of Africa for the past couple of days. We now have two different areas of kind of lesser possibilities of development. We have this 10% chance over the next two to seven days for this little cluster of thunderstorms right here. We have a 30% chance for this system right here. And then further off, even more to the east, just off the coast of Africa, we actually have our next tropical depression. This is the area that had that 70 to 80% chance yesterday of over the next week forming. It did form. It did get organized. It's now Tropical Depression 7. It's expected to become a tropical storm, kind of move a little bit further to the north and then work its way west. I say early next week or kind of towards the weekend, we'll be seeing that storm push a little bit further into the Atlantic when and if this gets named, it would be Gordon. So after Francine, we are on to our G, and that is going to be Gordon. 70 forecast, we continue to see dry weather here at home. Lots of sunshine, temperatures staying fairly mild. I think on Friday with the temperatures in the mid 80s and the dew points in the 60s, we'll have a little bit of a flashback to summer, but still comfortable overall. Okay, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your afternoon. I'll check back in with you later on this evening.